I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Oh, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond as we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. Hey, you know, every year one of our favorite sponsors, Sun Honda, and myself head up to Granby Reservoir to fish with Bernie Keefe uh, ice fishing. It's kind of our annual trip. And we've showed you that before on the show, but just recently, this last summer, they had an event called the uh, first annual Redneck ATV Sportsman's Challenge. And the winner of that got to go along on our trip with us. And we had such a fantastic time. And what I'd like to do is we want to get you back out and show you again what it's like to fish with Bernie up at Granby, ice fishing for these lake trout with the guys from Sun Honda. And we're going to add in some clips from some previous trips up there, along with some footage of the guys for the winners of the ATV challenge and uh, show you what a great time you can have ice fishing. Lake Granby, Bernie Keefe, and the guys from Sun Honda. There they are, the pride and joy of Sun Honda. Oh yeah. Ron Lang, Mark Kite. Yeah. Now I want you guys to know that the other guys are catching fish already. Wow, so, that's what we're supposed to do, be good hosts, so we're not catching fish. Is, is that what's going on? Correct. Yeah. We'll be good hosts and let them catch all the fish. Well, I think you know, if you want lunch, you'll catch some. <laughs> you had some bites? Yeah, I actually had a bite, yes. Good, and it's a long time to fish. You'll catch some, trust me. Yeah, and you know, it, uh, it's kind of a little different. I didn't set the hook like I was, you know, like you're supposed to. Well, you'll learn. It's on my screen. Not a fish we, we yet. Yeah, it. Whoa, dude. Oh. Fish on! Double, a double with the, the, the Sun Honda guys, Ron and Mark. Both got fish on. Yep. Oh, all right, guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This thing's pulling. That's not you. That's not, it's oh, not a fish. Oh, I got him? We oh. both got him. <laughs> no, I got, you came across my line, is what he's saying. You know, he has no respect for the boss, Ron. Oh, I know. I mean, he's interrupting your fishing so he can catch a fish. But he has lunch now. Who oh, actually caught him, Bernie? Bernie? You did. Whose hook was in? We have to give Mark the victory. He's here. got the victory, no doubt. Well, not the victory, not the score. It's not the vic the victory. Don't happen till 
you know, if you fire them, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that one's huge. Look at this one. Woo. It is a nice one. Oh, that is a nice one. Wow. Let, get Mark to hold that. Kind of clean good. it up. Get him to hold it. That's a nice fish. Yeah. What is that? Burn about 30 inches? Oh. <laughs> 33, 34. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just let it go. Yeah. He wants the big ones to uh, go back. Nice. The big ones go back. <laughs> and there's Mark Kite with his first fish of this trip. Of course, Mark's an experienced angler who's caught so many of these lake trout on these trips that uh, this is just another day at the office, right, Mark? That's yeah. right, absolutely. All right, well, I'll let you guys get back to catching some more. Okay. And if I was you, Mark, I'd let the boss catch the next one. I mean, remember who signs your check. I was trying to let him. He was. You said that's not on the fish. Hey, I'm here with the general manager, vice president of Sun Honda, Ron Lang. And Ron, I'm so glad you could join us today. I just want to say thanks for coming out. You guys, over the last, I don't even know how many years it's been now, have been such a great sponsor of both my TV and radio shows. And I just wanted to personally say thank you because, you know, we started the new year not too long ago. And one of the points I made on my radio show was that we really try to associate ourselves with quality sponsors. In fact, we dumped a sponsor this year that we just didn't think lived up to our standards. And the reason is that when we represent people, people watch and listen to get good information. We know that when they go to Sun Honda, they're going to get a good experience. Guys are out here trying to make them laugh. They're teasing. That's a good. We're having fun out here. You know, we can. They don't. They don't care. It's yeah. just. Yeah. It's just. A, but I really want to just say thank you for being part of everything we do on the radio and TV, Ron. Well, I want to thank you, Terry. It's been a great relationship, and uh, we've really enjoyed it. And it's certainly been a win-win for all of us. I, to be honest with you, it's been uh, good tying in with you and your show, and it's been really great. So I want to thank you and for this opportunity to have Bernie take us on this fishing trip. It's been awesome. Oh, and it's we're just, just getting started, and everybody's having a kick already. I mean, we've got fish just, on the ice, and yeah, it's kind of a horrible sight seeing Bernie out Ooh, there. Oh, I think we got fish down there. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. I took over Mark Kite's chair, so if I catch a fish here, he's going to be mad. <laughs> well, that's all he cares is we get the tent gets the yeah gets the quota here. So, and you know, now the reason we're out here today is we had that um, first annual Redneck ATV Challenge, um, and the winners got to come fishing with us. We're going to do a little TV clip of them and had them have a good time. And it was uh, I tell you what, what a great prize because uh, not being with me, folks, but coming out here with Bernie Keefe, it's just an awesome. He takes such good care of people. Just really quite the setup, it really is, and they. All the way up here, comment, and I can't imagine what they're going to say all the way back after being. Oh, it's really great. Well, uh -oh. I'll let you get back to some serious fishing, and I'll get. Sounds more. like they got something going on uh, next door. Check Terry. it out. All right, Kite, get out here and fish here. Yeah. You know, you folks watching out there, Bernie's kind of become a regular on the show. He gets more airtime than I do, but uh, you hear him on the radio show a lot. And Bernie, how long have you been? You guide up a Granby, uh, summer and winter. Obviously, winter. We're out here on the ice. Obviously, right winter. I uh, guide up in summertime also, year-round. I've uh, been doing it for seven, I've been guiding for seven years now. Fishing been forever. fishing this lake forever. I know. You're, Bernie, you're one of the most knowledgeable lake trout fishermen I've ever fished with, and we've always done really well with you. What, you know, a typical ice fishing day out on Granby, what can a guy expect? Reasonably to come fishing with you, you know, by himself, we don't know his skill level, but if he comes with you on a guided trip, what can we expect? If you come with me and you make the phone call with me a couple days before, I generally tell you what you're going to catch. In December and January, we normally have, oh, 20 to 40 fish days. Most of them are 17 to 22 inches. Just the other day, we had 12, 12 fish day, but they were all larger fish. Our largest was 33 inches. Um, then February, it tends to drop off a little bit, and March, it picks up again into April, as long as the ice is safe and we have them good days again. All right, and then summertime. When are the best times, summertime? Summertime, ice off. Ice off is the most incredible time on this lake. You can fish any way you like to fish, and you're going to catch fish. And numbers of them. And numbers of them, and you got the shot at the big fish. You got the shot at varieties. We come out at ice off, we catch rainbows, browns, max. If we decide to chase kokanee, they're up shallow also. Now, you know, years ago, Granby used to have a reputation for being a big lake trout lake, and that's because of a change in regulations. There's still some big fish in there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's 40-pound fish in here yet. No, I but, think there are. But the odds are you're not going to catch big fish. Most of the time in Granby, you're fishing numbers of nice size, eater size type fish. Granby is a numbers place anymore. It's a good It's a good place to come. I always tell people it's a good place to come to learn to fish lake trout. Oh, it is, really. If you learn here, you can go anywhere throughout the West and catch lake trout with the same techniques you have here. And because of the numbers of small fish here, 
that are so prolific, it's a good place to harvest a few. Right. That's really a dink, Bernie. Everybody else is catching bigger fish. Terry, it's the first fish of the year. I got to be happy with it. Actually, it's a nice, healthy fish. <laughs> Just exactly what we're trying to catch out here today. You know, if you get your hand in your mouth, they do hurt. Nice, another nice, healthy eater of lake trout. Granby, Colorado, fishing with Bernie Keefe. Thank you, my man, and the boys from Sonata. Thank Sun you, sir. Honda. Fish. It is a better fish. Fish on! Oh yeah! yeah, yeah. Oh, boys, get over here! Take it out, Megan! Get over here! Get over here, Les! Get over here, Les! He's got a good one! Les! Get over here, Les! Get over here, Les! Les, come check it out! Check it out, Les! It's a good one! Come on, Lester! Um, hey, Mark, reel yours up. If you feel anything, stop. I don't know what he has, but it might be a large fish. You got a oh, nice one? It's a little baby one! <laughs> <laughs> it's a big one! Oh, it That's why it felt so much bigger. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it like it's a big one! <laughs> lean forward, lean forward, lean forward. Okay. Alright, Ron Lang! Yes, nice fish! Thank you, Bernie! <laughs> He's the man! Well, David, what do you think so far? That's pretty neat coming you, out here. Are you having fun? Oh yeah. Now David, the reason you're out here is Sun Honda, one of our sponsors, had the first annual, what they call it, Redneck Sportsman's Competition, whatever they call yeah. it. Yeah, um, that was a blast. That was... Um, tell people a little bit about what you had to do to win that. Well, we had to, we had to race on an obstacle course. That was, they had it pretty challenging and uh, that was about the craziest one out there. So you went for it. Now, are you a pretty experienced ATV driver? Yeah, pretty experienced. I just learned on the farm. So. so they're catching fish over there like crazy. They got some fish on. We'll be there. We're doing an interview over here. Just go ahead and catch your fish. Well, you know, I'm not much of an ATV driver. And you were probably there when I competed. I don't know if you saw me go around the course. Yeah, I think I, I, think um, I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I tease everybody and tell them I got the highest score. Yeah. But the lowest score is what wins. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's a great event Sun Honda had. Yeah, it was. And uh, they're throwing fish out. Who caught it? Ron! Ron Lang from Sun Honda got a fish. All right. Everybody's catching fish. You already caught fish this week. Yeah, I caught a fish. I mean, we've been fishing. What have we been fishing for? Half hour, hour? I don't yeah, know. It's just, about a half and an we've hour. got one, two, three, four, five, six yeah, lake trout already. We've got our lunch set up. Yeah, it's a. What a great. Isn't this. Is, what do you think about fishing with Bernie? Does he take care of you? Huh? Is he a He's trip? He's funny. He's a trip. But it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. And it you is. catch fish. It's a and, lot of fun. And, you know, but mostly what I want to say is, you know, congratulations on winning this trip and, you know, competing with everybody. Yeah. And being Thank the winner, you. I suppose you're looking forward to next year now. Oh yeah. And you know, I am too. I'm hoping that I can not come in last in the celebrity <laughs> challenge next year. I know. <laughs> but you know, I'm not an ATV. Eater, but you know, they didn't even tell me I was doing it till that day. And then I, I tried the second trip around. And then I realized the way they had it set up. I tried to crawl over the log. If you just shot through, it was better yeah, than the penalty. Yeah, that's why I, I just shot yeah, over yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. And if you just ignored the obstacles and your time, so you, I learned that. But you know, it was so much fun. And then, the, what do you think about this as a prize? Think, guys, who would enter this a good prize? Yes, yeah, a really good prize. Well, I'm glad you brought. Who'd you bring up with you? My grandpa and my dad. That's awesome. So you get to fish with them very often, probably not, huh? No. So it's a great trip. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to do is congratulations on winning and being up here with us. You go ahead and get back in the tent with your grandpa and your dad, and just have make the trip out of it, and catch some more fish. And we we'll look forward to this. this uh, next year, next year, I'm going to be in the competition. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Take it <laughs> that easy. Way I can beat you. <laughs> Already start slamming me on my own <laughs> show. <laughs> there he comes. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, there we go. There we go. All right, good job. <laughs> That's bigger than our other ones. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, nice one. <laughs> Fat little boy. <laughs> oh, look at the eggs. It's a fatty. Oh, look. Little... <laughs> cool. This is fun. You guys having a good time? Oh yeah. So, so far, if I'm not mistaken, 
Dave and Dad have caught fish, but Grandpa hasn't. Are you just being good, Grandpa? Just. <laughs> I, I, think I, I think I'm awake, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't fell asleep yet, have I? No, but that's usually when you caught your fish. Well, you know, <laughs> it is too. if they irritate you too much, we'll get you a new spot. We, we can switch our ice holes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're in the best spot. That's yeah. the problem. There's no fish over where he is. We go sit down to Steamboat Lake, and he'd fall asleep, and boom. And constantly, we weren't catching nothing. We'd be sleeping and catching them. <laughs> I preach mobility and ice fishing, and these shelters are a big part of what I talk about, and, and using electronics and moving. But you know, in some lakes, I'll go and walk on them, and because you don't have very far to go. But when you've got a big lake like Granby to fish on, we came, you know, two, three miles across the ice to set up here. Right. Now, if we are if we're in the wrong spot, we could have wasted an hour just getting out here, getting set up. Instead, we zip out here, we get set up. If this isn't the right spot, we'll fish for a couple hours. We'll take those ATVs, you saw it hooked right to this sled, and away we go, everything's in here. We don't really even have to unpack. But we could have left the ATV hooked right to this shelter, and you could just move around as, at will and just be awesome, and what a great way to fish. Did I show you the inside of the shelter yet? I'm gonna show it to you real quick. These are the fish trap shelters we had hooked to your ATV. You just take this and flip it up. So if we get cold, we flip this up. Now we're nice and covered. We set our heater up right here and we take our jackets off and we're toast. Oh, beautiful. Is this nice? But these are really great. Then if we need to go, we flip it back up. We got the trailer hitch. It's on that end. We back the ATV up, put the fish on. All right. Got Good one. Fish. Pull that, that transducer out of there, would you? All right, we'll talk more about the ATVs in a minute. <laughs> All right, it's just a nice, this is a nice one, not a, not a giant or anything. We'll get his head in the hole and we'll be fine. <laughs> he wrapped a little bit, we got, oh, it's a nice one. Nice fish. Nice, typical Granby Lake Jaw. Now folks, we don't expect to catch giants, although there could be fish up to 40 pounds in this lake, but this is exactly what we expect to catch. Fish like this all day, and I'll tell you, we'll catch numbers of them. It's not uncommon to catch 30, 40 of these a day and just have a really good all time. Right. Well, I'll tell you, look for these fish traps. This, oh, you got another fish on. All right. All right. Didn't even get my line back in water from the last one. I haven't seen him yet. All right. Now ease his head into the hole. Ease his head into the hole. This is where you want to be careful. This is where most of them are lost, folks. Once you get their head started in the hole, you got them. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Now we can just lift them out. Oh. There we go. Another nice fat one. Boy, these fish are fat and healthy. That's another keeper too. Yep, we're there. All right, guys. We're having lunch today, right, guys? Yeah. 
another, another keeper of lakes. Oh, look at how nice and fat and healthy. You know, that's really a sign that this fishery is coming back, folks. Let me tell you, this is just awesome. Uh, we're just going to have a great time out here. And you know what? The heck with you. I want to get back and catch another one. <laughs> hey, Mark. Just thanks to you and Sun Honda for coming out here with us. And uh, just thanks for being a sponsor. And I'll tell you what, folks. We're going to give you some more shots of those ATVs. If you like what we bring you on Mountain States Fishing, or if you listen to the radio show, The Fan Outdoors, these guys are the title sponsor of one of our television shows and our radio show. If you like the information we bring you, stop by Sun. Look at Mark up and say, hey, I heard you on the radio. Hey, I saw you on a TV show. Thanks for being a sponsor. And no matter what, stop by Sun Honda and take a look. I tell you, wasn't that a great time? I mean, not only the fishing was phenomenal. I mean, sometimes I lose track of the number of fish we catch up there. It is an incredible fishery. And fishing with Bernie is always a trip. He is so much fun. But I'll tell you what, the winners of that ATV, first annual ATV Redneck Challenge, had so much fun. You can bet they're going to be back entering when Sun does it again. It's going to be an annual event. So if you get a chance, go buy Sun Honda, find out when, what time of the year. And maybe you are an ATV driver, you want to enter into that contest. But whether you drive an ATV or not, get up to Granby, do some ice fishing, have some fun. Join us next week on Mountain States Fishing. Yeah, my dad and I used to come. We used to go fishing every once in a while. Ice fishing. It was a long time ago, though. Pretty good. I don't remember. He said that we went to.